now Rock Nation brunch or the Hamptons party of Rick? Of, oh, Michael Rubin. Oh, that's hard. That's oof. Yeah, it's God. not even a question. I don't know. Except fucking they, Michael Rubin party because Jay Z was there anyway. That is. Ooh, true. get the two for. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you might. And black people look good in all white too. Yeah. You guys do look very good. <laughs> we yeah, do. We look yeah, very yeah, good yeah. in it's all white. Contrast. I might do that. Yeah. You look very good. Puffy used to throw that party though, right? When we were. I always thought it was Puffy's party. He does the New Year's. Oh. Uh, Puffy's always New Year's. Back mm. in the day, no, no, no. He used yeah, to do I'm a Hamptons you. white party. Had you guys yeah. heard of Michael Rubin before this? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Isn't he not. owned the 76ers? Owned a piece and owned Fanatics. That. And then he started getting like publicly famous because he really helped to get. Uh, Meek, Meek Mill, Mill out of jail. Ah, sent him the helicopter him, off of there. Because and, of this, I heard him on all the smoke, and I was like, "Who is this guy? Everybody loves." And I was like, "This guy seems great. Like yeah. great question answers to every question. Seemed honest in a way that was like not like gross. He just seemed like I was like, oh yeah, I would love this guy.' No, I'll he, invite me to the what? white party. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, I'm free next year. You want to invite me to the white party next year, guys? Like, would you God. not go? He's one of Say the good. Ones. Would you want to go? He's one of the good ones. Yeah, what? Like, what do you mean, like of the blue squares or no, just... of the good whites? He's one of the good ones. Blue square. Oh, he's a blue square. Oh, he's a blue okay. square. Yeah. Um, would I go? Yeah. yeah. Would you go? <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> if I wanted to go this year, but. Oh, shit. Stop. Stop. Are you kidding? I Dove could find a way. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I just took it back. I was like, Not you know what? If plus really one would be to, hard, but he could get himself would have in to 100%. Go. You're lying it's, if you say it you looks wouldn't way, Put it this way. It looks way more fun than the Met Gala. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. This looks like yeah. people are getting drunk and like just being goofy, and they're not wearing some uncomfortable Dude, fucking outfit, outfit that they so can't even easy. move around Linen? in. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, the only thing would be, the only thing that would make me feel potentially uncomfortable is if, I wasn't going with anybody that I knew because I could imagine it being really isolating. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But if you had like six people there and you're just people watching the most famous people, everybody there is people watching. Yeah. Right? And everybody there is the most famous like in their little sphere. You think there's a few people that are like the alpha still that everybody's what? Like in my mind, Jay-Z, everybody's still looking at Jay-Z. Of course. And Jay's probably not looking at that many people. Of course. Yeah. That's crazy. And there's somebody He's there that Jay Z is like, there's like some art collector there. Yeah. Jay Z is like, ugh, I hope I get to talk yeah, to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think maybe that's the cool thing about it. You see people act like fans uh, that's to yeah. other famous people. I was just thinking yeah. meeting everybody, like the networking would be crazy. Even if you don't oh. get anything out of it, the opportunity, yeah, you have to say yes. deals probably get made from that shit? He should get 10%. Yes. It's like Shark Tank. Yeah. This is like rich motherfucker Shark Tank. Yeah. 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 And then you're going to blame the Jews for taking 10% again. I mean, I would. Yeah. How did you yeah, do that, dude? I know. How right. did you do? Nobody was even. You need to get ahead of the story when he comes out Illuminati, and then you're like, See? You're in the story. You're the media. Don't worry about yeah. it. <laughs> what do you mean? You control it. I, um, uh, I like Jews. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like most Jews. This one I'm not so fond of right now. <laughs> you're the one who brought it up. I was just saying he was a good white. Yeah. Yeah. I also didn't even know he was Jewish. I didn't. Come on. I don't think about that. It makes huh? sense when you say it, but we don't think about yeah, it beforehand. That's what I'm saying. When you say it, we're like, oh, yeah, obviously. But we don't think about I it. I don't if think you see black- a collection of cool black people around a white guy. <laughs> There's a 99.9% chance he's a Jew. Okay? There's a 99.9% chance really? he's Jew. Yes. Black people don't have good Judar. I, I yeah, don't, I don't. No, because yeah. we don't, uh, most minorities don't know. We don't. We no, white. like successful whites that are not Jewish. Don't want black people around. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably true. Yeah, this is like a really rich, like white, white guy, yeah. not Jewish, would never throw a party yeah. and then just be like hugging up with a bunch of yeah. black people. Warren They'd Buffett's like, never hanging with Joel and B. Yeah, yeah, it's like, how do I get the fuck away from everybody that's yeah. not a billionaire? It's really endearing that he would hang out with so many poor people. Like he would throw a party with all these pores. Compared wow, to him. Poor people? Relative to him. He's a fucking billionaire. Yeah. Like, he's there. Okay, so Jay, I'm not saying black people are poor. I'm saying they're all these people oh, who. All the other. All yeah, the, like there's, 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 to, it's, to him, Jack Harlow's poor. It don't yeah, matter. Yeah, they're all God. poor. You're like, a millionaires. Uh, that's fucking adorable. God. That's if how we look at hundredaires. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like if he's big billion, I don't know how much money he's got, but if he's big billionaire, he can be hanging out with fucking Buffett. He can hang out yeah. with Amazon and all if those you, guys. That's their crew. And he's decided to hang around with uh, L- little baby. What's his name? The baby. Little baby. Little baby. Like, that's cool. That's adorable. 11 billion. He's got 11 billion. Yeah, I mean, you, that's a big boy. You're looking at Jay-Z like, catch up. <laughs> 11 billion. Robert Kraft is 10. I didn't know 10 that. 10 billion. 
Million. Most of that's probably his NFL team, though. That's what's crazy is they don't have the same valuations as NBA teams. How did Ruben? I don't even know if he's a sole owner of the NBA team. I don't think he I, is. Wow, you don't something got that besides up. Fanatics. Fanatics is worth tens of billions. I don't know what his share is, but Yo, something else too. Te- let's say it's ten billion, right? Hmm. What is ten percent of ten billion? A billion. A billion. That's one billion. Five percent of ten billion. It's five hundred million dollars. <laughs> That's the interest he could be making on his money a year. Mm. So just this is when you see billionaires doing this stuff that like they're like that's so crazy. Why are they flying a helicopter to their yacht? Schultzy loopholes. Okay, here we go. Think about it. Think about it. They can't spend the money. So much is coming back. They're at terminal velocity. (laughs) So much is coming back that you have $500 million to spend. If you don't have a drug addiction or a gambling problem, you can't spend $500 million and not have assets in a year. Yeah. Like, think about 500 million. That's just interest. Mm. So, of course, let me get the private jet and fly a bunch of all these people. Like, I love the fact that he's being generous. I love the fact that he's spending a few million on this party. It's nothing. The interest is paying you back. That's if he has it all cash. He has it in investments and that kind of stuff, sure. Don't billionaires want to be loved and they're, they're afraid that the poor are going to rise up against them? If they were smart, they would just want to be anonymous. That's why uh, I think real billionaires are mostly anonymous. Also, by so, the way, why don't they just go around just giving out money? But think about it like this, too, with they Fanatics. Fanatics went from trading cards. It's going to become a huge betting platform. I think he had to sell his stake in order to Sixers. buy the 76ers? Mm. And now, because no, now he's going this, uh, to um, sports betting. So this, anyway, makes his brand look just that much better and cooler. Oh, it's a huge brand. Win. Huge. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I think it was last year there was one. Was it last year? Uh, yes. And then this year, those are the only two I've ever heard of it. I only knew of a white party with Puffy. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had never I'd heard, never of, heard of this. I never and heard of it until this year. With this year, it feels like this has been going on for 20 years. I didn't know about yeah. it. Yeah. With the coverage, the press coverage is crazy. I, don't, I know it has been going on for quite some time. Yeah. Because I've heard about this party for a while. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I, I'm just saying oh, now no. it just feels, and so granted, there was COVID and these other things, but yeah. now it feels like, dude, t- to get celebrities to be in the Hamptons in July when they could be. In Italy or France Anywhere. or any yeah. or Greece, like they're choosing to be. The Hamptons is nice, don't get me wrong, but you're still in New York in July. Yeah, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not the best time, yeah. right? But for them, he's making that cool again, and it's now part of a social calendar. So it's now whatever it was for the rest of Europe, they're like, impressive. you're there, and then you go. Yeah, where does everyone stay? Like. Just hotels and shit? They rent these houses, they rent the houses fucking and Hamptons it's like, for $50,000 a week. Like, it's insane. Does he set it up or they? No, are they, they have to no, figure it out. If y'all figure that shit out. And I'm sure he houses a certain amount of them. Yeah, like I, I was listening to the All the Smoke podcast, and I think it was Matt Barnes was like, I got my suit ready. And it didn't sound like he had been invited yet, but, but well, I, I felt was. He hadn't been invited yet, but he's like, hey, can I, I'm, I can come, right? Like, it's just crazy to listen to this guy. And again, I could be misreading, but he was like, hey, I got my white suit ready. And Michael Rubin was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it could be that's, misinterpreting. Maybe I'm he had the curious, invite, I'm curious how he manages it. That's how that. sought after it is. That's yeah. the interesting How part do you manage me. it? Because, you know, everybody wants to go, and there's going to be somebody who's too famous to ask, but not famous enough to be invited yeah. <laughs> yeah. that is going to ask you. And they're going to say it. And you're going to have to handle that. Yeah. That's a tricky thing. Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Yeah. No, what happened? Stephen A. Smith had a video that's like, why wasn't I invited? Uh, oh, wow. On his pod. <laughs> I mean, that is kind of true. Like, why? I'd want Stephen A. there. Yeah. Or do you not want the media guy there because then it makes all the athletes feel uncomfortable letting loose? Uh, mm. But I think they know that he's seen it all and they're still. Still, I, if, I'm a, if I'm an NBA player or if I'm an any athlete. If you're James Harden and your whole reputation is you don't love basketball, you love strippers mm-hmm. and booze. I don't I'm even want to see part. the guy who's been criticizing me for this. Yeah, well, yeah 100%. Yeah. Can't have any media there. I think it's also he likes the cool factor. So just because Stephen A is that guy is like nobody's looking at a yellow. Stephen A is so cool. Wait, 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 like, wait, wait, I think Michael Rubin really likes the cool factor. Mm. So he has all these cool, influential people. Because, like, eat little Baby is like... Stephen A is cool for a journalist. Yeah. But he's not but cool. He's not is that your point? Oh, cool. I see. So that's why, like rappers that's and how I think how they come up with the invite list. The invite list. Yeah. Like, who has the clout? Yeah. Yeah, but then you got to tell somebody 
You don't have you the clout. Don't have it. You ain't got it. But like I don't that, think bro. it's him. Like, but it's... that person might have your number. You're gonna see them. Like, you're gonna see them at games. Like, you're, you know, like that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that that type of shit. You is might even just anxiety say anxiety. You have to just lie or just be like, it's not out of my hands. My my people handled it. They got their way. I don't. You know, the craziest they, thing is like probably Michael Rubin probably has a lot of close nerdy friends. That he's super like, sorry. close. They're like, sorry. <laughs> and he's got to say, this ain't really a party. This is a. PR spend, yeah. and I unfortunately can't have you guys here for it. We're all going to go to San Tropez this fucking summer together, and we're going to take the jet, and it's going to be amazing. You guys are going to love it. But this specific party has to be done in this way, and you just need to accept that. And I imagine that these people, if they're also titans of business, are going to go, yeah, I don't give a fuck. I don't yeah. even want to be in this stupid charade. Like, yeah. It is funny, though. People always want what they don't have. The one thing a lot of billionaires are missing is that. I'm assuming. So they might be like, what the fuck, bro? I just think, I just want to go meet these people. That's it. That's all mm. I want. Billionaires probably also don't get told no very often. Oh, yeah. So if it does, they do, it probably Also, no billionaires there. being told no by, by Ruben. Fair enough. It's going to be his, like, friends that, like, his his head accountant that he has a personal relationship yeah. with and that. And I imagine you have enough room. I don't know. We should ask him about that. Yeah. That's interesting. How do you handle the politics of it? And, like, the invite list to get one person to be a domino fall for all the other people. Like, exactly. Oh, Jay-Z's coming. Like, hey, man, I'd love to have you come out. I think a couple people are coming out, Jay-Z, whatever. And then everyone's like, oh, oh I have yeah. to. Exactly. How did it start? And like, hey, I would love exactly. to whole How do you get the pieces together? It's like a movie. I would you love. You get Tom Hanks to sign on for a movie. Everybody else is mm. easy. Yeah. yeah. You get Tom Brady to be the quarterback of your, your team. Everybody else is coming. Yeah. I'll play for the minimum. Yep. And what is the yeah. promotional tool? here is this for fanatics or is this for his personal brand is it a like i'm sure a, you love the fact that everyone's saying your name as yeah. much but yeah. fanatics is definitely being from this founder and ceo of fanatics throwing the mm. coolest party with the coolest mm. people mm. they might become brand ambassadors and not be fucked over like ftx i think they actually trust him as a, i think a lot of those folks folks are like oh this is aspirational shit like this is yes. these are jay-z's friends these are tom brady's friends these are these guys so let's Let's be here. So, and he's playing Love Matchmaker. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Tom Brady and Kim K. You think that was real? I don't know. Rumored. But, you know, can't trust anything. I heard there's another Kardashian. rumor about him and Emily Ratajkowski. Word? I, I, uh, that's what F.A. said. There's mm. Both of those rumors are out there from wow, the white man. party. Wow. Tom. Yeah. Tom going through it. Going through it. Going through Going through of, them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> going through the hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tom. I mean, I don't know if he's... Knocking it down in the mansion, maybe. I mean, yeah, what what do you do? Who do you date? Yeah. If you're Tom, Please not, Kim. I, I just, she'd be ruining too many dudes' lives. I can't. Come on. Let's keep talking. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, I think Portnoy did a thing about that, yeah, too. Funny. He was just going crazy. He's like, don't. And I, I. But he has to have a little fun. You, you got to have fun. He's been but you ain't going to have time. fun with a Kardashian. They're going to have fun with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to be very careful. Yeah. yeah.